topic of this video is hard ones pattern. Okay, now I'm going to show you a monster card in Yu-Gi-Oh that has a hard once per turn clause. The monster that you have just seen is called Ningirisu, the World Chalice Warrior. It is a Link 3 Link Monster with 2,500 attack points and it's a warrior. It needs two Link Monsters to make it. It's a fact. If this card is Link Summoned, draw cards equal to the number of World Chalice Monsters this card points to. And it can only use the effect of Ningirisu, the World Chalice Warrior, once per turn. Once per turn, you can send one card from each player's field to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one World Chalice Monster from your hand. Alright! The monster that you can see in front of you is known as Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon is a level 8 dragon type monster. Here is its effect. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must first be special summoned from your hand by revealing Blue Eyes White Dragon in your hand. You can only special summon Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon once per turn this way. This card name becomes Blue Eyes White Dragon while it is on the field or in the graveyard. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. This card cannot attack the turn this effect is activated. Okay, and the last monster that you will now see is known as Red Nova. Red Nova is a level 1 Fairy Tuna effect monster with the following effect. If a level 8 or higher dragon type synchro monster is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Red Nova once per turn this way. This card is sent to the graveyard for a synchro summon that uses two or more tuna monsters as materials. You can special summon one fire fiend type monster from your deck in defense position. You may ask yourself, what does this mean for a card in Yu-Gi-Oh to have a hard once per turn clause? Allow me to give you an example of what it does. Let's say you have a monster with a hard once per turn clause like Ningirisu. So you make Ningirisu on your turn and you have the ability to make another Ningirisu. When you make your second Ningirisu, you will not be able to draw cards because that effect was a hard once per turn. As it said, you can only use this effect of Ningirisu once per turn. So even if you make another copy, you cannot use that part of the effect again. A hard once per turn in Yu-Gi-Oh means that you cannot gain advantage in that turn for an effect that you would like to do. So if you wanted to draw an extra amount of cards, you will not be able to do so with Ningirisu on this turn. It forces you as a player to strategize and rethink the moves that you are going to play when you have cards that are, are hard once per turn. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe, hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.